I am which the humans call Osseus. All right, you ready for some gaming, everybody? Because we're about to game. Three, two, one, go. For the first time in a while, I feel like I have to be entertaining. How do I have to? What? Entertaining? What? How does one entertain? An open question to chat. Da -da 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 -da. Alright. Well, let us play the game then. Oh, I didn't have to double press that. That's okay. Oh, it feels so good to be back on the big screen. And in a chair. Um, it's still not the most, like, comfortable chair let, let, let's face it i went to office depot and i got the economy gaming chair it was 99 dollars. i got what i paid for <laughs> listen listen i got what i paid for out of this thing because it doesn't come up to here it's like the top of the chair is like on my neck if you ever notice like this is not exactly a chair for an adult no uh, i got a I got a 12-year-old's gaming chair. But I've been sitting in it for a few years, so... So it's okay. But the last couple times I've been playing this game, um, I was at Pulse's house, and his couch is... His couch, like, doesn't have legs. Hey, Oshawa. Breakout skip in a while. Uh, so I was at Pulse's house uh, for the eclipse this past week. And a couple of the days, uh, we played some Legends Arceus. Uh, on his stream, in fact. So it was pretty cool. Um, yeah. 
his couch is very it's, his couch like doesn't have legs so you sit real low to the ground uh and it was a bit uncomfortable on my knees but the couch itself was comfortable um but i was pretty much just like like playing the game like this like high knees and i got old man knees so yeah Um, but I learned a lot, especially with Halkyrie there. And I did get a best time, because I was playing on digital version. Now I, I felt inclined enough to finally purchase the game on a digital copy. So, that's where we're at. Officially digital gaming. I'm sick of not having a best time in this game for, like, a year. Or a best time, like, at all this year. So... I was playing Legends Art. I think I did. I think we were doing that three of the days. I did two runs and I did like an extended practice session with Halk. So three of the days, like I was sitting on the couch. And then I played Arceus on the plane ride back. So I was in, you know, a plane seat on the little screen. And I was still gaming. Uh, in fact, I was on PB Pace through Arcanine. Like, uh, I should say I was on physical PB pace through Arcanine, handheld, which is pretty wild. But I kind of screwed up my end game, uh, and I ended up 270 points short. Mysterious just sucks. I need to absolutely just practice Mysterious a lot more. I let go of that. But I learned a lot, and it was great to have Hulk there kind of drill me, and I still... There was still more, like, aspects of the game that I picked up on that I still didn't know before, like, about the, how the Pokemon react after a scatterbang. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to, you know, buy me a new chair, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Someone just gets me a steel chair. Cool, thanks. An avocado. Thanks. <laughs> but it's just nice to have, like, my setup back. Took some great pictures. I didn't lose anything. You know, the good stuff. Went to a concert. Baseball game was fun, but damn, the Rangers were playing like crap. We'll just buy you a cushion for the floor. <laughs> a cushion! Thanks! <laughs> Listen, I've been sitting on the floor playing TCG a lot. Because that's how I that's how I practice and test matchups. Is I just sit on the floor. It's fine. I heard sitting on the floor is good for you. And Silene's like, here's your here's your house. And if you don't die, you can have it. But let's face it, you're probably gonna die, so sleep well.
the next day. I made it. We're doing good. We're doing good. It's the weekend. Um, I'm probably going to go to a league challenge on Sunday, um, but no plans tomorrow. Just need to work out and do all the good stuff. Uh, I was feeling a little extra tired today and sore because I did work out yesterday. Not the greatest of uh, efforts. So I opted to kind of rest my quads, which hurt. Uh, I'll be at the gym tomorrow. I already scheduled for that spin class. I'll definitely want to work out on Sunday as well. As I get back into the swing of things. I should have opened up the windows. Try to get some fresh air in here. Silene, I would never. Mm, I wouldn't say never, but Silene in a Chen Pao list is funny, but I don't think it's good. Yeah, I've just I've still been playing Chen Pao. I'm still happier with the one copy of Boss's orders uh, over something like Iono. Like the boss is fine. Hi, Cyndaquil baby. Yo, this game is actually good. This game is actually fun. Crits me twice, I'll have the god gamer move. Well, I'm not gonna miss the three shot. Ooh. Uh, I do not have fast cynical. Fast cynical gets the second move there. did it. I leveled up gaming. By the way, I did race Halkyrie twice and lost. <laughs> I lost and he tried to throw like two times. I'll just YOLO ball Palkia, he says. <clears throat> Dear 
Wow, I have harsh sunshine already. Nice job. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not sick anymore. I promise. Step one, scam Akari. Ooh, I think I got a spoiled on that. Fight the camera on this one, I remember. Oh. Hey, yo. Yo, what's up? Uh, run's good. Run is good. Just the beginning, but good. Um, when I was, uh, when I was in Dallas this last week, I was hanging out with my friend who's the world record holder in this game, and we kind of did, like, basically Legends Arceus speedrunning boot camp. Um, so, I feel a lot more confident. I've, I picked up a lot of, like, actual, like, real important vital things. And a lot of really, like, small things, too. So we're going to put those skills to good use. And... <laughs> and I bought the game digitally. You can spread democracy. I'll spread capitalism. There we go. Winning. Are you spreading the good word of Ancient Box? Helldivers, nice. I just saw the, what was it, the, the terminal, terminal velocity or whatever it's called, terminal montage uh, of the Helldivers, and <laughs> it's funny. It's also so odd to see that channel, like, do something that isn't Nintendo related. Because they have lots of Pokemon and Kirby and Samus or Metroid and and then also it's like Hell Divers and it's like cool. <laughs> I updated my um, my Iron Hands list. Uh, I don't know if it's the exact one that, uh, what's-his-name was using, uh, from yesterday. I forget his name already. I'm terrible with names. Um, but I think it's close. I think it's one of, it's like one of the top 16 lists from EUIC that plays the one copy of, uh, Iron Leaves with two Grass and one Psychic Energy just so it's flexible. I actually like it a lot better than the list that I was using for two reasons. One, justifies the whole four crown three hands that I thought was correct in the first place. Two, um, Iron Leaves is how you beat Charizard. Well, beat is a word. You at least have a chance, more or less. Um, and three, that one psychic energy, 
so the baby Maridon can attack with its 160 power move, which all of a sudden can just do 220 because it's literally just as good as arm press is actually sick. I think the baby Maridon with the single copy of Psychic Energy is massively underrated. I think that's absolutely correct. While while still functioning as a Turbo Iron Hands list instead of the full Future Box. I think that's the best version of the list. It still has some consistency issues. Yeah, I think the I think the baby Maridon using its big big attack is actually so good. But I I don't know I don't know. Um, I personally find that it has consistency issues, just because it has no draw engine. God, maybe the Mew. Maybe I gotta find a way to put the Mew in there. Because the list I had didn't run the Mew, so that might be the one missing piece. It has the issue that... Yeah, yeah. It just has it just has a turn two issue for me, personally. It's, all right, I get fully set up, and you attack with the baby Maridon with peak acceleration, and then you left with one card in hand, and if that card isn't Research or Iono, like, good luck setting up turn two, or like, following up. That's just that's just the one piece of the puzzle I haven't figured out. The Mew would be nice. The Mew fixes partially that, because at least you'll have access to two or three more cards. I'm still not sold on playing Heavy Ball and Shen Pal though. I just I just think if you prize Greninja, it's a skill issue. And if you can at least get a barrel set on the field, you'll be okay. Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. Get yourself a new life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Echoey. Game. I'll show you some heavy balls. Whoa! Whoa! All Reddicks with 51 months. What the heck? Hey, just making sure your car didn't break down this last week during the eclipse, did it? Right? Oh, please tell me you at least went down to, uh... Like, Southeast Missouri to see it. The curse has been broken. Sure. Sure. How's it going, bud? Offer still stands. We need to just jump on a voice call one of these days and shoot the shit. No, partial ain't totality. No. Partial so lame. P Listen, people who saw 99% partial, you missed out. In fact, you were so close, you missed out. Like, you severely effed up. It's t totality or bust. But your car didn't break down this time. So, listen, you take some. You take what you can get. Um, You have a place at a Pidgeot EX at your desk. <laughs> if I didn't already purchase my two Pidgeot EX just so I could have a Charizard deck ready, I would have hit you up for that. <laughs> Man, if I and if I find a copy of Mew EX for like five or six bucks, I think I'll buy it. Just to have a second like one is good. Feel a little better if I had just one more. Well that Badoof looks big. 
Yeah, I don't have any of the shiny ones. I just have the regular ones. And the Charizards I bought, my friend was gracious to part with his, uh, uh, what is it, Paldean Fates or whatever, like the reprint, uh, which were cheaper because the reprinted ones were like 350, whereas the Obsidian Flames ones are still like seven, eight dollars. It's so weird. Crouch cancel. So you bought two of the Charizard tins? I've for now avoided the Charizard tins. Not for any reason, just haven't gotten them. Because I spend enough money on a bunch of nonsense. Oh, I, don't... I think I gotta go this way. Yo, where are the Wurmples at? I thought there were supposed to be Wurmples around here. That was the weirdest thing ever. Like, where'd the Wurmple spawns go? I only caught one because I only saw one. Okay. Well, that's not a great start. Spawns at. Nope, get him. Uh, okay. Okay, we're still okay. Uh, I got a chance at that one. Okay, I got my shinks. are good. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I wasn't in the grass fast enough. Ooh, that beacon flies fast. This is a level 22 beautifly, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. this beautiful eye is over here. Oh, that's really lame. Because I have a hard time getting around the stun score. Nice burn when I don't need it.
I did get one of Warples. That was actually good. I was... That was actually really smart of me to uh, crouch down and catch the Wurmple's stealth. Um, so that way they were far more likely to get in. That that saves me a bit of uh, Wurmple headache. So I recovered well, but I just wasted a little time looking for a Wurmple that didn't exist. That was a silly start. Did catch all three Wurmples? Okay, good, good, good. Wow, my Bidoof is not heavy. What a shocker. I did get two Wurmples unspotted. I only have to evolve one more to finish. That was pretty sick. What's cool about the training camp I did for this game is that I ran this game basically three times over without notes and without replay buffer. I just didn't look at my notes at all. Um, the only thing I might still need them for is just for the math going into area four. Like, that'll help just to kind of know. Uh, but outside of that, I didn't really need the notes, which is good. That means everything's pretty second nature to me. There's like a couple of small things that I still need to work on, but it's more committing to memorization than committing it to notes. You know, for not finding extra wormholes and then re-engaging first beautify that isn't too bad for rank one but i am playing on digital so that's probably where i got some of the time back also i've seen in two different posts on twitter that um that carlos science is going to mercedes but neither were from anywhere that I recognized. So the journalist in me is like, okay, I have two I have two reports, but where'd they get that report for like like there, there's no source. It's just like sources say. It's like, well sources could be the fart you had an hour ago. So So I I, I can't believe that. But they come from two different people. And if the two people are citing the same source, then that's still only one source. Really, it should be, it should be Sky Sports would be on top of it. Like, once they start picking it up, then you know, like, oh, that's a reputable source that they're actually, like, doing some digging, not just reporting rumors. Hi, Volo. 
Reporting rumors as facts is very cool and definitely not a problem, lol. You're so right. Hey, when are you visiting, by the way? When you come into Spokane to visit. Nice breakouts. Man, that's so lame. Got my Starlies so long as I have both genders. Do they have any video audio effects or educational conferences out there? Um, I'm working on it. I'll tell you what. If they have them in Seattle in the summertime, I will drive across the state and meet you there. Then we can do I guess we can do that. And if you do that and you get work to pay for the hotel room, that's where I'll stay. <laughs> Seattle's not too bad in the summertime for a road trip. That's like four and a half hours for me. And a pretty drive for the second half. The first half is a little... It's much better driving to Seattle because the boring part's the first half and then the exciting part of the drive's the second half. It's going back is a little bit stale. Especially you cross Ritzville and you're just like, I still got an hour to go and it's just flat and boring. Please get there. Oh, I need you to get this, buddy. This isn't going to work. This is really slow. And it broke out, please. Oh, I should reset because I'm wasting time. wasted so much time to try to feed a cricket tot that just like would not they were they were both i okay i need to take some responsibilities i did not throw the berries close enough and they like both failed and then the one i it was a berry backstra yo okay i will not that was Eating plus backstrike, that's lame. That's like 95% to break out. That's stupid. Okay. Yeah, I'm not having the greatest area ones. Just 
going to close my eyes every time I get a slow crouch cancel. <laughs> Just let me play the game good. Hey, Max, thanks for the good luck. The Eclipse is awesome. So I need an unspotted catch on <laughs> Maybe. You mean I'm not going to go to Nome, Alaska in 2033 just to stay within the States? Search on that one. And yet, there's so much time I will. Oh, there is something I do want to see. The Bidoof is still not heavy. I do have both gender Starlies. Good. Good, good, good. Um. Crickets for what it's worth. Oh, okay. I only have to catch a cricket tot. I don't have to get it unspotted. Oh no, I missed by Okay. I missed by an input. Alright, so I just need to catch a cricket tot because I have uh instead of unspotted, I got one of each gender, which covers me. That's much easier to do. There's cur there's Kurgatot spawns everywhere. Thank you, Randall, for the good luck. Congrats on Quillspin. Right, three spoiled. I didn't see if I had any mud. This is a long, so this cutscene's very long. It's the next one that's much shorter. I wish I would've split it up, but you know, plot, 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 plot. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do with the Wurmples. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab both of my Wurmples. If the second one is a Silcoon, I will not evolve the third one. 
If the second one is a Cascoon, I will evolve the third one. Because then it guarantees that I get it one So I'm either... If it's Silk... If it evolves into Silcoon, I've got Silcoon, and I'm done. If it evolves into Cascoon, I have to evolve the third to figure out if I'm getting Silcoon or Cascoon. Because I finished Wurmple on second evolution, because I caught two stuff. See, I'm gaming. I understand the flowchart now. This is so much more cutscene. So much. Like after this, then Adamant talks to you. After this, uh, the scammer talks to you, and then after that, Volo talks to you, and it's just like you guys, like you know No, sir, you Mr. Scammer. Ugh. And in my, I've made a lot of little mistakes. This is very weird because I wasn't playing like this the like this last week. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I'm being distracted. No, no, no. I'm playing like super mediocre right now. He turned away from me. Oh, come on! If I'm getting back strikes, they should get in. Even if the what's his face is kind of distracting him. get you in a second, buddy. I need to run in this battle. Gonna get 
that. Get this one. I need you to get that. my second carry. Alright. This is actually pretty good. Psyduck is finished. Veneery's close at minimum. Hey, MCH. Uh, Kratot is finished. Wurple's gonna be done. That felt a little sluggish, but kind of gone a little faster on the um, the Psydux. Like I didn't need to really worry about the Psydux as much. on Evolving Bidoof because I need to see if I have a Heavy first. Because if I don't have a Heavy, it's not worth Evolving the Bidoof. And I don't have to use the uh, Water Pulse Struts anymore. So I'm not even going to do the evolutions yet because of that. I'm just going to mark you like that. Spotted? I think that's right. Okay, sweet. So all I have to do is catch one Badoof. I can basically do those evolutions almost immediately. I'm um, not going for Geodudes. I'm going to go for as many Paris as possible in this area. So I'll go for the Parises. I'll go for the Badoofs. I need to catch one Badoof. I finally got a heavy. So I'm allowed to evolve. This is actually the best time to look at my replay. Yes, I need one more Bidoof. Baneri is finished. Sick. Uh, what rank it? Yeah, yeah Bidoof six. Okay. So catch one Bidoof, evolve. So at the end of this area, I will have you. For sure. It means I don't have to do anything with the Psyducks or the Veneeries. You can just run past them.
much I hate it, the best case scenario is just a Silcoon. Cascoot and Mavaldi, the other one. Silkoon? This one, not this one. Okay, cool. running. Uh, I actually want this pretty badly. Yeah, not bad for a day four. So, Silcoon done. No Cascoon points. And Paris. There we go. Ah, uh, I, I felt pretty good about. Also, Matt, or I, Icelandic Maniac, thank you very much for the nine months. Did I miss that? Was I trying to game while you were doing that? Starting Cleaver, probably right at the hour mark here. That felt like a pretty solid, solid day. Pretty solid clearer. I thought I had one more pip to go, but thankfully I got him. <coughs> I'm still gonna pass your menu in the name normal spot here. No, I finished cleaver in the hour mark. Nice. All solid stuff. I think I caught one Paris. I didn't see if I got two. 
It's okay, they're everywhere. That's why I like battling on day one, so I can just dismount weird here and just get after it. Day two. But if I'm defeating one, well, it helps with, I mean, just, just gotta justify the points. We'll always finish Paris, but sometimes it can be pretty easy. Two pairs. Okay. One hundred two oh two, and a decent amount of points. I'm at twenty one hundred. split that Let's go! Three and one? Seen better. Seen worse. In fact, my uh, run on the plane, I never saw a single ball of mud. Was a little, a little sus. Uh, I think one of the things I can get a little bit better at, um, especially as it pertains to Psyduck, is that like. You don't have to finish Psyduck in Fieldland. Because Psyduck's actually spawned in all the areas, and my the route that I use now actually requires a Psyduck catch in Area 2. So, as long as you get your one defeated, like, you're honestly kind of... Well, you need one defeated and three fed, so you just need to not worry about the Psyduck. Okay, that's where I can improve. And I can just try to... Yeah, feed four, catch one of the veneeries is ideal because then you're okay i have an idea for how to still improve uh field wins day three which i always feel is a bit still a bit of my crux no evolution here After this walk and stretch would be good my hamstrings are still tight from yesterday's run gotta get back in good good shape before blooms day it's just like it's like 23 days away it makes me so nervous <laughs> And Hobelberries, heck yeah. Psst. 
Seven stream streak, what? <laughs> it's funny because I haven't streamed in like two weeks, so that looks really funny. I've watched all of last week. Wait, when? <laughs> all right, well, I got raspberries. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I got raspberries. And I got hobo berries. Which are great. So, Ginther came in clutch today. Shanks, get him. And I lose. Damn. I need that. And I gotta make sure to do all the crafting first. Tables right here. Uh, 19 is pretty good. Pokey, Pokey Bay. Professor T Pat. Listen, I I don't like the ring of that. So don't say that around me too often, otherwise it'll go to my head. Pokey, what the heck is up with you? No you, no you, you're cute. just one and then you kill me and then I get the it's just the ball. Now I die. Damn. Two quick attacks as usual. the carnivine alone after the first attack. Thank you. 
enough. <coughs> the leaf piles are the most important thing there. I wonder if I'm missing a leaf pile. I think it's just a two. I was trying to avoid the Raichu, but I was kind of struggling, figuring out where its eyes were. To catch both Psyduck so I can lead the Psyduck. I'm not gonna stun any more Carnivine. I think that's not worth my time here. I'll just try to get the, the Patasai. That's not bad on the Pikachu. I might mark that as partial. use raspberries on these uh, teddies. I hit him. Oh, I have to I have to leave these alone now. That's a really lame way to Stealth? What the heck?
that went pretty well, though I ignored Teddy completely. But once I realized I wasn't getting to... I threw the raspberry in the vicinity of where the Teddy Ursa spawns, and I ended up hitting it exactly, which is so lame. I was like, well, if it, if it annoys the whole horde, then I can't get Teddy. That's... Don't crit. I don't did that. Not crit, did pretty well. Uh, I should actually get some partial points on Crow. I did catch two. definitely want to finish Paris here. That's a meaty gold split. There you go. Well, I didn't catch Badoo, so... Bit of a false gold, but it's okay. <clears throat> I still have some stuns to do on the Carnivine. Paris I need, I'm definitely gonna evolve. I should just evolve when I get a chance, but I want to see the research first. Because I don't want to commit to evolving and say, like, if I caught, like, two light specimens and then it's just like, oh, it's done. It's like, well, then I wasted an evolution. Though the evolution is still technically 40 points. It's just, you could spend that time getting 40 points elsewhere. Evolution feels safe, but it's not necessary. Um, like, for example, if I just catch a Teddy, I'm going to get 40 points. Because at least fed one, but I never had a chance to even catch it. Since I dipped so fast. Actually, Paris might be close here. Paris is not completed, so I will have to... Engage in evolution. Good on points, though. Okay, three and three is better. Means I did pick up a couple mud balls along the way. Uh, the Pikachu was worth four points. The Paris is nine. Oh, wait! I have three large specimens. I just need to catch one Paris, so I don't evolve. See, there you go. Uh, Carnivine is six. So I do need to just straight up stun it twice. Okay. So I just need to catch one Paris, and I don't even have to evolve. There you go. Catch one Paris, no evolving necessary, because I got three like heavy specimens or something. Silly. Please don't hit.
all the Tanglas. I'm a little light on Carnivine. Well, because my stun item situation is a, a bit frail. I'll stun a I'll stun a Carnivine late here after I get access to um some more spoiled apricorns. I don't want to waste my mud balls though. Hopefully, hopefully the Tangles just drop some good items here. I'm gonna go definitely go for this tree. I'm gonna go for the, all these uh the apricorn trees to see if I can sneak out like one extra spoiled apricorn. a little farther than I would have liked. That's okay. I just need spoiled apricorns, and I did pretty good on that, so... not get high points on you. I'll mark homie just in case, but I don't think I really got high points on that either. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I went that out of the way for Paris. Because there's so many everywhere. Don't need to evolve Paris, it's done. Carnivine's done. Tangle's at nine. Schmoovin. Uh, I need to grab the male Starly. I 
I guess the good news of this run is I've been, like, super flexible in my research. And thankfully, I didn't get too nervous about uh, the lack of stun items. Still a little low, but it's it'll even out. Anything? You are you guys are more likely on my path because I've been a little behind. But finishing Paris without evolution is pretty great. Good day. Nice. A gold split both days. Finished Mirrorlands in 130. I feel like I'm finally cooking. Um, I will check Ginther here. Should have more than enough catches. Uh, not today. Oh, I'm actually good on hope berries. Eight and three. That's actually pretty good. I had great uh, leaf piles late there. I did get, I did farm some extra ones, especially considering I had to get a late, late carnivine stun. I mean, how I used to do carnivine is I used to stun one, defeat two, and now I'm st stunning three, defeating zero. Tangela is, in fact, nine. Hold these as a two.
some extra iron so we can get some good great balls doing pretty good on my Pokeball account, so I'm not going to buy any extras here. Squirrel with the 49 months? What? Let's, let's see how TTS handles this. Come what nonsense for this month. Please keep watching the Emmy Award winning meteorologist, coffee drinker, and Eclipse Watcher Teapoticus Lexicus. Your what's a kiss? Squirrel, thank you very much for the 49 months. That only makes me sad because I'm not going to be Emmy Award winning this year. I didn't even get nominated. Like, at all. So I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of bummed out about it. Because at least last year I was nominated under uh, Morning News. And the year before, it was uh, evening news and weather, and this year it's just none. I'm so sad. Zero nominees this year. Washed up. Do you need to catch two dust stocks? It's finally Friday. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Because speedrunning is still niche in the video game community. Like, who in their right mind is is making their money's worth speedrunning? Grand Pooh Bear? And he does, and he, he does more variety content these days anyways. The Speedrunner Awards. You know... Yeah... I'll take that. I'll take a speed. I'll take a speed. But what do we call him? A speedy? <laughs> speedy? Hey, listen. If you got any other ideas for the award names, like the trophy name, <laughs> other than speedies, the mall ears, the speedy. It could be the Speedos. No, that was my college days. Uh, thank you. Didn't even get any apricorns from that. That's fine. Uh, can you give me some apricorns? Please? Nothing! Wow, that's really lame.
this spot is. Okay, good enough. Two butterflies. Okay, I got my three glad mails. I do actually need a few extra Pokeballs here. I'm gonna buy some extras. Well, do I? No, I'm good on Great Balls, though. Maybe not. Maybe I don't. Uh, and I take a Vulpix. Beautifly. We started those guys. So we are in really good shape here. <sighs> okay. So here's the here's the here's the spot that matters. Okay. <sighs> here's the spot that matters. money big money right here thank you for fighting the camera for me Ooh, please stall spray I was, a, I was a little late on stealth spray Great balls. Sleep. Uh oh. Uh, wait. Did you eat? Wait a second. Uh, too late to too late to know now. Thank you for the sub, Oryx. <laughs> Busy. I do have two Togepi's here. Oh, no. Uh, unfortunately, that Staravia warned the others. That was, uh, I ran in front of the Staravia. That was a bummer. Thank you, Oryx.
Staravia. I'm gonna go for it. Oh! Ah! Ah, that was, uh, that was a little foolish. I think I got you, and I think I got you. I unfortunately did not, I would have went for Togepi. Hello, Halkyrie. No, you. You're sick. Uh, I did not get the video from Pulse yet, and you know what? I'm just gonna PB anyways. does look good. I did buy the game digitally, so that helps. My area 2 was actually excellent. My area 1 was still a little, like, use, could use improvement, but it was still fine. Honestly, what has really helped me out this run, I don't know for whatever reason, but I feel like I've been far more flexible on research than usual. This is my first two Wurmple Evolve run. I noticed I didn't have to evolve Paris because I had three heavy specimens or something like that. Um, and just like a bunch of r other random stuff where I was recognizing the research kind of more correctly than usual. So, I've been in a good spot. Uh, Teddy's went bad. I bonked it because I threw it in the vicinity of the spawn and I ended up hitting it directly. So, I was like, oh, well, there goes that idea. There goes that plan. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's just, the only thing that went poorly, poorly, was I had, I had Ginther raspberries, and I threw one at a Teddy, 
And then I look the other way, and I'm like, oh, it's over there. And I throw it, and I hear, bonk. And I'm like, no, I hit it directly because it was in the grass somewhere. And then sure enough, the whole horde is just like, someone's here. And it's like, we're skipping Denny today, I guess. And then I caught like five cricketunes. Whatever. What a noise. I went from really low on stuns. I actually didn't have enough stuns, period, for Carnivine. So I farmed the extra leaf piles after Rhyhorns. Basically, after Rhyhorn, I had one mud ball, period. And I left the area with eight spoiled and three mud balls. After the Rhyhorn catches and farming all of the leaf piles. So I did get the... Carnivine catch. So now I'm okay. I could have went for Togepi, but I thought I avoided the Staru... Uh, it must have spun and saw me at the last, last second because it didn't aggro until after I threw a raspberry at the first one. And then the Staravia aggroed. And I was like, excuse? And I was like, oh, I guess I'm not getting Togepi either. So I still have a little bit of work to do. But 152 to Basque Legion feels pretty fast. Um, the only thing is, I think I have Forest Fields fed, but the fourth fell asleep. It must have ate the berry, then fell asleep, and I was like, you okay, boss? Yo, there are baddies in this game? Sure are. So, I think I have Sfield on, but... Can't, can't test the waters now. Oh, bad guys. And one of them is definitely not Candace. I don't even remember their names, to be honest. Listen, Hal, you can tell me their names and I still won't remember them. I know about the Misfortune Sisters because that's at least a card in the TCG. It's an actually quite a rude card. I'll take that. That's right, I poisoned you and then I left. They're the lamest evil team in all of Pokemon. Hey, now. And yet, their card in TCG is one of the most powerful. one wait where did this one go he was hiding wait do i need to feed two wait it i like totally forgot if i need to feed two You've given it food one? Oh no. Wait, where are my berries? That 
was... That was very strange. I didn't like that. It's like, neither of you ate those? So I had to, I, that I had to take that way more carefully th than I thought. Yeah, I feed two, catch three. That's lame. We'll go for high partial. Okay, where are the fitty ones? Right. Let's see if let's see if we can't make up for this with some fitty on action. Is that only my second? No, that's... Oh, and I got the flying one, too. I don't need it. We good. Great ball Finneon season, you right. Alright, I made up for it with the tentacle breakout by getting Finneon. I don't have very many high partials though. Because the other one didn't see me. Well, I think I made it see me, so... But, no, you're, you're right, you're right. I didn't do the hot bar. Halk, stop this me! I didn't do the hot bar. I'm going to get mud bomb now. Yeah, he, he did do that, but it, and listen, listen, buddy. I'm not gonna bank on that. I messed up. No. Or poison jab me anyways, okay. Got to go with my American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is on SmackDown right now. Oh, it is Friday night. Richard Streakin. So is that Chris in my chat? Ain't no way. Tell it's not.
I missed it. Damn. Terrible streamer. I am. Hey, look. Green green splits, everybody. Green splits! Look at the screen! There are green splits. I definitely didn't pay $60 for these, either. Uh, yeah, actually, Crimson, I gold split both days. I only care about Popper. Uh, we ran, fun fact, we ran a story about a new avalanche rescue puppy who is just starting his training. He's a nine-week-old black lab. Like, actually the best puppy ever. Damn, those are the bad guys? I have no odds and ends. I'm on my exact point number here. How is that a slow crouch cancel? That's cringe. Damn, mods, mods, mods is sus suspicious. Link in chat, ban him. D wins. Thank you for the good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Alredix, for being a good moderator. Wasn't Mod Appreciation Day like yesterday or something? <laughs> good to know that for the first time ever, I just have regular ass points. Um, I hope I have seven thousand actually. 7,000 would be great. 69 and good change is also nice. Do I want primes and follows, though? Ac yeah. Yeah. Primes and follows. Listen, if you have Amazon Prime, then make sure to use your Prime. Twitch Prime. Actually, I need to do that this month. <laughs> I think I totally forgot to, so. Prime. Follows are great. Follows are awesome because that means people are like, hey, that's cool. You might want to watch this person again. And listen, that's pretty dope. Um, but, 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 yeah, I think I'm in good shape here. I should have a pretty normal area for uh, the Finneon helped. Wow, 
on, faster. I'm finished with area three, which is one of the toughest areas, and I did a pretty good job. Actually need to see my research here. Oh, that's good. That's good to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. 6870. Eh. That's such a that's such a weird number. Let me if I do seven dex entries, then I'm like comfortably there. But I can't really get any, like, half-point entries. That means I just do... Uh, if I do seven... Oh, that's so lame. Because I'm 170 points short of just the six. I have... Okay. Pray for Zubat. <laughs> Six, six, and one. Not bad. Uh, I need to do it like this because I have a balanced number of spoiled apricorns. Uh, I should actually go for I never mind. I should actually go for Golduck first and then see if I have enough for like um for maybe just like a try to steal some points on Hippotoss. This is this is these are the real gamer hours. So the name of the game here is I'm a hundred and I'm a hundred and seventy short. Yeah, I have so few partials that I almost have to go to thirty nine this run, and I don't want to. So I think I can make this work. It just it just means I have to get some high partial catches here. Uh, that or we're just gonna go for end up. Just... Well, high partial for Yan Mega should help. Uh, and full Yan Mega uh, pretty much clinches it. Uh, let me see my number here. God, okay. Alright, so much money. That's crazy. I've like never had that much money before. You're like twenty four thousand. I, I almost thought, like, oh, can I buy 51? Oh, my God. So, it, that was easy. <laughs> I was like, all right, I just get 41. I just wrote it in the notes how many to get if you, if, how much money you need for 31 and how many you need for 41. And I was well over the number. I was like 5,000 over. 
I almost could have just got 51 instead. That's pretty wild. But yeah, one, uh, so I'm 170 short. But that's fine, because I'm just going to get some high partials. Fix this. Yeah, if I would have got uh, tens cool, I'd be in majorly good shape. God, the Temple of Sinnoh? Special energy have no effect other than providing a colorless energy? did because I had two Yanmas break out on me. I had two Yanmas break out on me. They were great ball back strikes. That's so cringe. And I didn't get any points on Yan Mega either. That's That's the first time I've gone for 3 and got 0. So that's a little sad. Um I almost have to go for Mistrevis in full now. Uh, I really like the Young Megas over Mistrevis. Yeah, I om almost have to go for Mistrevis because I just don't have enough points. If I go for Mistrevis, I'm minus 90, which is good. Or I'm plus 90 instead of minus 170. Uh, and then that's just that's just completely safe. But if I can somehow get 170 points without finishing a dex entry, then I'll be fine. The best thing that can happen here is a Zubat spawns. Better yet, two Zubats. Two Zubats and I can actually finish Zubat? Hold up. Let's mark it like that. If there are two Zubats, I can finish because it will go into my party. But yeah, I have the three Yanmas, but zero Yanmegas. Okay. 
<laughs> all right all right we're going for mistrevis uh you know crow gunk i have partial points on Golduck finished. I opted to throw mud to make sure I can grab some spots from that. here because I have like no high partials I'm, like 20 on Kobe 40 on Krogon 40 on Pikachu and that's like it should evolve a Yanma, but that's so slow. No, that's this is, yeah, there's no point. Uh, that gold duck's actually fine. Uh, if I catch a Teddy, it would be worth 40 points. But that doesn't get me anywhere, so I'm not going to bother. I'm pretty much just committed to this route. I'm going to do no nonsense. I just need a... Bless that Mistrevis goes well, because that's the only thing I'm really not super comfortable with. I definitely need practice with it. Get him, Yanma. Good job. Uh, the choke and Tangle are easily finished here. Tangle's at nine, so I don't have to see Ancient Power. Agile style stun spore? Excuse me, Tangela? Okay. Well, there's my 20 extra points for Ancient Power. Whatever. Please don't get loose. So now I'm plus 50. Regular. 
Fire Slash. Nice. Enough stuns for the power on. <laughs> um, I could check. I might. May wait, maybe I just do him bow down instead of uh, Miss Revis. Since Miss Revis kind of gives me fits, I might have enough. I know I have two spoiled. Actually, I bet I have enough because I have the extra sticky glob. I'm gonna go for it. Keep track of partial points. So I have plus 50 right now. It's like barely enough. Ah, but it does work. God, whatever. Ooh, I almost got spun on there. Need one pot. That would be sixty, this would be eighty. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bother waiting around. That's eighty points. So so I'm i I'm minus seventy, so I can go for uh partial.
should actually go for some random catches here. I think I need 40 points. Try to grab two here and call that good. Um, and then I'm gonna go for because I do need to finish. Should be good enough. I I really left it close. I ended up getting high partial on. Oh, I should have tried to. I maybe should have caught one extra random thing. It is literally so close. I needed a defeat with an Earth uh, ground type move. Yeah, I got 80 from the Hippowdon, and I got at least. I might be okay if I snag 20 extra points somewhere which I think I did I bet my guess is I have 85 10 Glad I went for the hip out on, but it made me quite close on stun items. Would have been just easier to go for Miss Revis, I think, in full. Instead of half half bouncing around. What that got me? What? Oh. Oh, that's so lame. I'm getting a really bad pattern. That was... That... 
I'm having a very weird electro pattern here. Everyone, get a load of this idiot. Electrode is my homie. I don't blame you. Well, when are you coming to Spokane? Again. Whenever. Richard, you still got a job, right? Make make money, paying the rent, doing your taxes. Also, I'm really bad at first person shooter games, so I, I'm not saying I don't want to. I'm just saying it's not my style. I would literally just hold you back. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good here. Please just say 38. Please just say 38. Yes! Why, why was I even worried? Eighty-six ten. I didn't even need to go for a out on. Never. I get t like 10 extra points or whatever or like I got I have a hundred more points than I thought I did so okay so just outright going for hip out was wrong Finally, truly on PB pace here. Uh, I'm on 47, maybe 46, depending on how good Iceland's goes. I could probably get a 46 on this. A bit more realistic to my actual skill level of this game. see what level my haunter was at so i'm gonna assume it wasn't a 53 finally some green splits he still didn't beat my area four which is funny but I'm sure I did a lot more. Yeah, just getting Young Mega would have just been so much easier. If I get Young Mega, I didn't even have to go for Hippowdon or... Um, 
Miss Grievous. That'll save me a lot of time. Gaming. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Keith, what's up? I am have I'm stoked this Friday. I think I might even go for like a little a little jog, maybe not jog, maybe a little walk after this just to stretch the legs. Could use a good stretch. Maybe maybe I'll go to the gym and actually like use the foam roller to stretch my IT bands. I would know it's like probably use it. I didn't just charge my phone, I left it on the charger just now, so. Can't believe Halkery's done in a whole hour. World record gamer. I do have a 56 uh, Sneasel, which is nice. Yeah, and I got spin class in the morning. Boy, my quads hurt right now. That's my 56. Uh, it's 54, I'm gonna make sure it's in the right order. Leave the high level sneasel here. Good thing I remembered at the last second. I'll make sure to go for a run on Sunday morning.
All right, Haunter, please don't be 53. <laughs> oh, 56, heck yeah. We are gaming. Forty-six. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I think I'm getting forty-six, which means I'm gonna be head to head with Truly. Plane. Thank you for the good luck. <clears throat> Duddy Rocker, also thank you for the good luck. Super appreciate that. You're looking good. So far, so good. I've definitely felt pretty sharp through uh, from area two, to be honest. Area one, I think I still have a little bit to improve on just to be a little bit more efficient, especially with like the Psyducks. Kind of started out a little sloppy looking for Wurmples for no reason. Definitely gave up a few seconds that way. Oh my god, Golbat! Oh my god, that Golbat was out of nowhere and it belonged to me. Yeah, that was like insanely rude.
Thank you, Rocket Plane, for being the second person to make the streaking joke today. <laughs> You're very funny. Oh. Oh, he... Ah! Why is the Galate so fast? It's so angry. Damn, anybody else streaking in chat today? <laughs> beep beep coming through. Also agile styling? Why? That must have been the slowest Sneasel of all time. I actually, that's a good question. I need to check my speed stats here. The fast one's 184. The other one's 181, so... Yeah, that was a little strange. Whatever. The combination of Agile styles is a little lame, but it's fine. Whatever. what it's a little bit of both i'm definitely playing super well and digital just helps me realize the minutes of time save which is why my first area i think was a little slow because i didn't really i was only minus 20 seconds th through the first area and then i was like and then i saved a minute and a half in the second and then another 30 on the third and then i actually lost 30 on the area four but I had a weird area for in former PB. Where, like, didn't do anything. Good 
I'm and listen, like stopping your ascent is another one of those like little things I picked up on finally. Alright, who's ready for rage skip? Definitely. What? I wasn't even close. I was too... What? That was like one of my worst efforts in the second half for sure. Oh, that was a little lame. Whatever. I tried so hard to get rage skip when I didn't. I had a good first half, I just kind of had a scuffed second half, apparently. Must have missed a lot of throws, because I was getting towards the end there. I was like, I am not getting rage go. I was overconfident. Still got a gold split, but it's an old gold. It's, I had to delete my golds for uh, the end of area splits. I'm 
barely on 46 pace. It's like 46 high. <laughs> At truly, what's your PB? Want to know if I can beat that? Got a forty-five thirty-one. Oh, okay, then damn. <laughs> damn, that's so good. Uh, why is everyone so good at this game? Let me be good. Uh, Forty-five? What the heck? Yeah, I'm not that close. In fact, my sum of best is not even to what truly has. It's already four seconds over. Lame. Well. Yeah, there's a Japanese runner who's gotten a 45-41, uh, and Truly's got a 45-31. There's a... I'm, I'm in the gap. No. <coughs> yeah, I thought Truly had a 46. How'd he get another minute better? Now for the end game. If I can squeeze out, if I can squeeze out a forty-eight for this last section, it'll be pretty sick. Eileen walks faster than I do. I don't know how close I need to get. allow me to PB. That'd be great. Da da da.
got this. We got this. Oh, I needed to jump a little earlier. I didn't want to fight the camera. The Diamond Clan can't help you, but neither can the Pearl Clan. Good thing the good thing Volo has no faction. Volo is just like the more chaos, the better. was still a little bit more tense than I would like it to be, but... Maybe if I improve by enough, my Quinfecta... positioning improves. I can't beat Halk. Halk's already... Well, Halk already has a frickin' 1940... It's like, I can close the gap on Arceus as much as I can possibly do, but being two minutes ahead in Let's Go isn't exactly going to cut it. Oh, that's because he, he has the Scarlet record. And it's like a record no one can even beat because the game is slower than when the record was set. Makes it quite challenging for everybody to compete in Quinfecta at this point. And because he's a god gamer in Arceus and he got the Scarlet record at the right time. Now I'm out here doing it the hard way. so close. I'm like 40 minutes to the end. Sneasel, which will help against possibly against the Gudra. Should be decently speedy enough with a 184 plus the level up. I don't foresee anything going too crazy here. It's kind of the normal stuff here. Just make sure to not talk to the antique tea sets. Try to mount weird ear. I've been a bit incorrect, actually. Oh, 
that's not good enough. Oh. Yeah, I, I still have to improve. I was, I did the first half of that correctly, and then I just didn't ascend on Braviary far enough. Because Braviary's forward movement speed is faster than um, Basky Legion's. But I had kind of messed up a little too much already, so I just kind of cut my losses there. How many eyes do all the Pokemon have? Start. You don't want to see, uh, Nasty plot, because that's when things can get a little bit crazy. Good crit. Here's the toughest part of the run. Didn't turn on. You are kidding me! Fuck you! My fucking... Thanks for costing me 12 seconds for no reason. I'm actually a little bit irked about that. Because it doesn't work in the moment I actually wanted to use it, and then it woke up the moment it was over, and it's just like, what the fuck? I'm actually so pissed about that. Somebody buy me a wireless numpad, or a wired numpad, because wireless just costed me. That's so jank, dude. Deser deserves to be in pieces! Okay. Actually, so pissed about that. Thanks for just not working when I needed you to. Cool. Love that for me. I tested, tested it before, literally tested it before starting this run, and just then decided to not work. And I had to bail out and do it the old-fashioned way. I actually, that irks me so bad. So jank, dude. I'm gonna give it away, because that... That's the last draw. I won't use it again. Because that did just cost me. Hello, Exedra. Thank you for coming in during my rage moment.
get this range. Oh my god, get this range to make up for that. We'll call it even. If you get the range. Get it! That's a good miss. No, it's not. No, I'm just wasting time. likely be the farthest ahead I get. I saved time over PB because uh, I missed the Zoroark range. As you probably gathered. Hey, can I go home now? No. But I'll be your best friend. Yup. Evasion sure is a thing. Shelter's broken. Increases defense and evasion. Like, actually disgusting. See, I'm losing time now because PB does hit the Guja range. So I give all that time back. Immediately. And then some. Shouldn't I should have come out ahead in 12 seconds, man. Actually disgusting that... The thing that I literally spent money on didn't even work! Trying to get a 46 here. I need the I need the seconds. This is how I see this playing out is I'm gonna be on 46 50 something pace until uh until the Gengar puts me to sleep and then I don't hit through and I die and I lose the 56 and I end up with a 57. Almost certainly. Is how that is going to go. Shaking on my hand, my wrist kind of hurt. Well, it's not my wrist; it's like my forearm crushing the controller, basically.
Missed the overkill range. That, this Gastrodon was awful, because it didn't kill either of, it didn't Oko, uh, Melee Skunk Tank either time, so missed three ranges. That was probably my worst Gastrodon I've had. Damn, only hit one range. Now I have to play the game. Thanks, as Elf. That didn't count. <laughs> That's not a good sign that it's spawning, like, on my ear. Hello? Azelf, please. That was, like, pretty safe, too. going left. It's not a... Uh, yeah, okay. One of these days, I'm going to have to YOLO ball the, <laughs> the Dialga. God, if I'm doing that, I'm picking Palkia. Oh, come on. Let me go. Let me finish the game. Twenty four minutes left, hopefully. Arm plus thirty. It is the first time I finished Alabaster Icelands in under three hours, so we take that. My honor! Honor! Like how we come back to the village and no one, no, no one cares. Like, only K Kamado cared that we left. 
Maybe Admiral Zhao and his sideburns will show up. Come on. Time for Benny to not be cringe. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going for fast Benny. I'm not doing no nonsense fight. Or I could just die to Benny and lose the whole run. That'd be pretty funny. The run's pretty solid. Like, I wouldn't have PB'd on uh, physical, but I probably would have got like a 350. The run's solid. But I know I have a little. I know I can get just a little bit better. 345 feels like it's in sight, but not much beyond that. Oh my god. You have to start taking some big risks after that, I think. But it does feel like I can actually compete with Truly now because that's what I want. I wanted, I want a good, like, healthy competition. Um, he's definitely pushed me, and hopefully I pushed him a bit. You know, he certainly, certainly put me in the dust. Thank you, Melly, I guess. I do have a 48 skunk tank, which is awesome. I had. Oh, nice random alpha. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Electabuzz. I wasn't expecting you to be alpha, I was expecting him to be alpha. I will serve you up some pain. He's just like, I never trusted you all along. I should have uh, poisoned your food. But not while the professor was watching, so guess what? Haha, <laughs> I'm a ninja. <laughs> Benny about to put down some shadow some, some shadow clones all right thankfully this is like not a range well it's 15 and 16 at worst but it depends if this magius wants to hypnosis me or power damage me. Shadow release technique, yeah. Yeah. Ow. I 
had a good Benny fight. That's about as good as I can go. That was like pretty early on the song too. Come on, fat gold split, let's go. That was a fat gold split. Okay. Deserved. Thank you. Get out of the way, Benny. Like, actually deserved to get a fat gold split on Benny. That was a perfect fight. Guess what, Commodore? Fight me! You are literally so lame. <laughs> Benny was actually the final boss. Are you smelling what the rock is cooking? Final boss. So good. Ooh, I did get baby doll eyes. Nice. I have to re swords dance because I did get baby doll eyes. But I don't I don't know how I think this is the actual perfect fight. My defensive stats return to normal? Oh my god. This golem's got nothing on me. Actual perfect combo fight. Now give me another gold split. The Sneasel didn't die. That one Sneasel lived the whole fight. Oh, uh, it wasn't a gold, but I got a couple of more seconds back. I tried to slide perfectly into that position and I was like a pixel shy.
Final page of notes. Like 20 minutes out. in Christ. Damn it. Well, there goes 56. Or 46. No, dude. That is so lame. That is disgusting. Oh, uh, I have to regular close combat now. Yeah, Sneeze will be like, yeah, I did it. Uh, the extra level I got uh, now matters. I can't strong close combat it now, so I, it probably will do less damage. No, I got outsped! It's a different Dialga! Motherfucker! That's so, that's ridiculous. I had 184 speed at 56 and I was two levels higher and the Dialga outsped me? You are absolutely shitting me. Like, is this real life? I just lose a minute. Oh no, it could be worse because I could have missed this hypnosis, but Jesus Christ. Well, that's super lame. Please. This is the fastest Dialga alive! I'm going to check its stats afterwards. Oh my God. Like, ain't no way. I lose because of this. I lose 56 because I crit the Dialga turn one. Oh, I lost so much time. I'm barely on 47 pace now. If, uh, if charm goes wrong, this doesn't even 47. Then I just 48 cry because of how slow this was that's disgusting i lost 80 seconds to that that's such a that's such a bad way to lose a hunk of time because it is quite literally 98 percent into the run with like no variance left it's like the last bad it's the second last bad thing that can happen in the whole run uh, strong style does add accuracy to hypnosis. It goes from 70 to 90 percent That's why we strong style to Make it as good as possible because if you don't hit that hypnosis, uh, you are not gonna catch the Dialga The status multiplier is pretty significant for the catch rate I got outsped. I wasn't even a slow sneasel, like at all. That actually bothers me. To get a bad crit into the next Dialga was even faster. I gained, I gained a level up between the first Dialga and the second Dialga, which means I was actually faster the second times around. That's unreal. It had to have rolled plus speed and three EL. On top of one in 24 critting the first one.
Yeah, the Dialga in red bar plus a status effect is basically 100%. It's like 98 plus. Uh, uh, what an unreal turn of events for the final section of the game. Come on, dude. Uh, I have, I have no words for that Dialga sequence. That was crazy. And, th and this could be the nail in the coffin for, for the run. Getting a 47 hinges on this fight. And it's barely a 47. Right, misses Hypnosis. It will... Okay. Well, I'm fast enough that you don't get another turn, Charm. Fuck you. Usually, if it misses hypnosis, it still goes again. But my, guess what? My Dialga's fast. Yeah, best Benny and best Kamado into worst Dialga. Into best Charm. Like, whatever. This game is so jank. I'm so curious how fast this Dialga is. Like, it feels unreal. I've never, I've never seen the Dialga. I have seen the Dialga outspeed Sneasel before, but not at that speed. Uh, my Sneasels were in, like, the one, they were both in, like, like, 171, but that was 184. And that was highest level possible. And an extra level. So all that was crazy. Crazy, I tell ya. Irina, I'm so glad that you're nicer to me in my trading card game games. Mostly. Sometimes she needs a little help from uh, the Cypher Maniac. Or whatever its name, name is. 
Cypher Maniac's Code Breaky is the name of the card that's pretty good. Yeah, that was quite the Uno reverse that Dialga pulled on me. Like doing everything in my power to even make like some of those text boxes go even faster. She walks in that direction because it makes my character face an odd direction. Oh, I guess I'm going around that way. Oh my god. I didn't know which way it was going to face for a second there. Volo, can you handle this one for me? Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, Truly's already done. Damn, gamers are fast these days. Got a little bit to improve on for areas one and four and five and this whole end game. I did the damage boost, though. That was pretty cool. I can't dodge that. And... Time. <sighs> oh my god. We are partially there. I could do better though. <laughs> partially there. This game makes me emotional, okay? Digital difference there. Dialga difference. Dialga digital difference. Digital Dialga. Digi-world. Digimon. Gotta catch them all. Um, thank you for the GGs, everyone. Thank you, Hulk. And truly, especially... Truly, for you, I want to compete, man. I want to compete good. Well, I'm never going to beat that gold split because I had... Because Charm... I... Charm got one less move. Charm literally just got one fewer move. I did get knocked down because I keep getting the bad pattern from Palkia.
But yeah, the Palkia wasn't perfect. I'm just saying Charm I can't replicate because that the fight was a whole turn shorter or a half turn or whatever. Um, if you just want a quick recap. But, dude, fine. My area one actually wasn't that great. Like, I was very sloppy at the very start of the game. Like, I ran around for nothing looking for Wurmples. Um, then that was good, and then that was good, and then... Oh, well, I can I can improve day three, as I know I can. Um, day four was good, because I just took advantage of it. I gold split both of area two splits. Um, the first area by a good chunk, because no Badoos, but then I still was faster. Great. That's probably from doing the better strats with the Psyduck and the Stun 3 Carnivine instead of fighting them. I'd probably save a good chunk of time doing that. Uh, Area 3 was just solid? Yeah. No, I did I did Badoo's day... So that's the difference. My old route does Badoo day 1, so I skipped it day 1 and saved a chunk of time. And I did Badoo day two, and I still save time. Which is why that went, which is why this split, the Lilligan split, goes crazy. I think that's because of the Carnivines that I'm stunning and not fighting. All right, for area three, just solid. Just solid. Um, yeah. I, I guess I could go a little faster, but I'm not sure how, so I have really nothing to analyze there. Uh, and then Area 4 was just kind of messy because I had more to do than I thought. I was a bit low on points. The Yan Meg not getting a single... Actually, there's just time to improve by just having better points luck. Um, I ended up with 86.10, but I went for Hippowdon. Like, I ended up getting partial Hippowdon, partial... Uh, Mistrevis as I wanted to because I was adding up the points as I was going. I still ended up 100 ahead. So, cool. Um, so, I just have time to save by just going faster. <laughs> like, just being more efficient. Um, but I didn't catch a single Yan Mega. I had three backstrikes. Bruh! Halkyrie! My first two Yanmas broke out. Backstrike Great Balls. So that's how that's how the area started, and it was real messy. But yeah, I need to... It, yeah, it could just be tighter. Uh, and then Area 5, I didn't get... Uh, I didn't get Rage Skip. So I have time to save there. Great Ball Backstrike... Two breakouts. Two on the Anmas. Not one, Hulk. Two. So I got two 2% 2 breakouts in a row. So I had to start leading balling the Yanmas so they would get in. <laughs> Ridiculous. Hit the range on Yuxi. Wait, hit the range on Yuxi and my stupid keypad didn't work my keypad just decided to not work in the moment i tested it before didn't work during and then immediately started working afterwards so i threw that thing on the ground i'm getting a wired goddamn control numpad i'm so mad about that because i definitely lost time to it like more than the difference because i was trying to type it in it wasn't working and so then i had to do it regular um, missed Iron Tail into missed close combat. Missed the range entirely. Missed the range on Azelf. Perfect Benny. Perfect Commodo. Awful Dialga. <sighs> and maybe that was... That's how the... That set the tone for the, the end there. That Which obviously did not pay dividends. So... Okay, bruh, my my brother in Christ. My Sneasel, after 
critting the first Dialga gains a level up and gets to 58. Has 188 speed. And the Dialga has 192 speed. It's plus speed 3 EL. I took this is the fastest Dialga possible. Literally maximum.